Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to read the input from the console. So in the previous tutorials, you know, we have used the system.out.print line to print something to the screen. You know, it printed the text that we passed to it to our standard output device. And similar to this system.out, we have system.in which refers to the standard input device. By default, the output device is the display monitor and the input device is the keyboard. To perform the console output, you know, we were using the print line method with the system.out, you know, which refers the standard output device. That's because, you know, this console output is directly supported in Java. The console input is not directly connected with Java. And that's why we can't directly use the system.in along with any other methods. But we can use this system.in along with an object of the scanner class. So instead of using the system.in directly, just like the system.out, we can use this system.in along with an object of a scanner class. So we're going to create an object of the scanner class and then we're going to access the standard input device referred by the system.in. So if it is confusing, don't worry, you know, you're still in the beginning stage of Java programming, but you know, just remember that this is how we can read the input from the console. And uh, you know, when you learn more about Java, all these things are going to be clear. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an object of the scanner class. So this scanner class defines several methods, you know, which allow us to easily read the input from the console device or, you know, easily read from the keyboard. So to create an object of the scanner class, first we need to write the class name, you know, which is scanner and then the object name and let's say input. And then we're going to use the equal to operator or the assignment operator. And we're going to use a new keyword to create an object. And it's going to be scanner. And here within this parenthesis, we need to pass system dot in. So here, what we are doing is we are creating an object of the scanner class and we are associating that object with the standard input device referred by this system dot in. All right. So it just shows an error here. And if I click on that and it shows import scanner, that's because, you know, this scanner class is defined inside the Java dot util package. And to use this scanner class in our program, we need to import this scanner class. Just double click on this uh, import scanner. And here you guys can see after our packet definition, we uh, we have another statement which says import java.util.scanner. You know, it allows us to use the scanner class in our program. I know all these things are going to be a bit confusing for you guys, but just remember that, you know, this is how you can, uh, you know, read the input from the console. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the variables, you know, which are used to store the readed values. So first we're going to read the integer value. So let's create a variable and let's call it as age and we're not going to initialize this one. So this age variable is going to contain the value entered by us from the keyboard. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use this input object and we're going to read an integer value and we're going to store that in our age variable. So it's going to be age equal to input dot next int so here this input is the object you know which is created from the scanner class and this dot operator is used to access the methods defined inside the scanner class you know just like the main method that we have here in this uh, class anil you know there are several methods defined inside the scanner class and to access or call that method in our program we need to use this dot operator along with the object of the scanner class and then this next int is a method you know which is going to read an integer value from the keyboard all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to print out the value so it's going to be system 
dot out dot print line and we're just gonna refer age all right the last thing that we need to do is we need to close the input stream you know which is opened by using this input object so it's gonna be input dot and close meta and that's it now i'm gonna save this and also you know i'm gonna remove this statement you know which i just added in the beginning of this tutorial and now uh, what we can do is we can ask the user to enter the age so uh, before this line we can write that you know just to make the user interface pretty so it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and it's gonna be um, you're gonna say enter your age okay now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run this and it says enter your age I'm gonna enter let's say 24 and I'm gonna hit enter and you guys can see it displays 24 back so here you know we can format this output also let's say okay your age is and then we're gonna use a plus operator here you know which is used for concatenating the uh, strings so here it's just gonna print out okay your age is you know whatever the value entered by us so I'm gonna save it again and I'm gonna run it and enter your age and I'm gonna enter let's say 500 you know that's my age and hit enter and it says okay your age is 500 so similarly you know we can use this uh, scanner object to read other values for example let's say you want to read an uh, floating point value and let's create a variable of type double and let's say average and uh, I'm just gonna initialize here with the values received so it's gonna be input dot and this time we're gonna use next double meta so this is gonna read a double value and before that let's uh, a message so that you know the user is going to come to know what he has to enter enter your average and uh, i'm just going to print that out so i'm just going to copy this system dot out and i'm going to paste it here okay your average is we're going to change this one to average and we're going to change this one to average here also all right now i'm going to save this and i'm going to run it again and this time let me expand it enter your age my age is 24 and it says okay your age is 24 enter your average i'm gonna enter 99.99 and hit enter and it says okay your average is 99 so similarly you know you guys can use this uh, scanner object to read the different types of data from the keyboard so this is it guys this is how you guys can read the input from the keyboard and uh, you guys can find this source code in my web blog at uh, learningladeducation.blogspot.com you know i'm gonna paste all this code in that blog and uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial